Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, November the 22nd. Happy Thanksgiving. The scripture for this service, Psalm 105, verse 37 to 45, and James chapter 4, verse 13 to chapter 5, verse 6, and a song from the book of Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Sirach, chapter 36, verse 1 through 7. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, God led out Israel with silver and gold. Alleluia, Psalm 105. Alleluia, God led out Israel with silver and gold. Among the tribes were none left behind. Egypt rejoiced when they left, for dread had fallen upon them. You spread a cloud as a screen, and fire to give light in the darkness. When they asked for food, you sent quail and filled them with bread from heaven. You pierced the rock and water gushed. It flowed in the desert like a river, for you remembered the holy promise which you had given Abraham and Sarah, God's servants. You brought out the people with joy, the chosen ones with shouts of rejoicing. You gave them the land of the nations. They took the fruit of the labors of others, and thus they might keep your precepts and thus they might observe your laws. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God led out Israel with silver and gold. Alleluia. The lesson is from the letter of James, chapter 4, beginning at verse 13. Come now, you who say today or tomorrow, we will go to such and such a town and spend a year there, doing business and making money. Yet you do not even know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wishes, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Anyone then who knows the right thing to do and fails to do it commits sin. Come now, you rich people, weep and wail for the miseries that are coming to you. Your riches have rotted and your clothes are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have rusted and their rust will be evidence against you and it will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid up treasure for the last days. Listen, the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, cry out, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on the earth in luxury and in pleasure. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the righteous who does not resist you. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, have mercy upon us, O God of all, and put all the nations in fear of you. Lift your hand against foreign nations and let them see your might. As you have used us to show your holiness to them, so use them to show your glory to us. Then they will know as we have known, there is no God but you, O Most High. Give new signs and work other wonders and make your hand and right arm glorious. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.